Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shadi Rafai, and today we're going to be talking about some of the pros and cons of living in Ottawa. First of all, one of the best pros related to moving in this area is the government job opportunities. You have all kinds of industries that are run by governments in this area, whether it be IT, whether it be just coming fresh out of university, there are so many things that you can work in and there's a vast majority of jobs that will really pay very well. So one of the nicest things about Ottawa is that you're just at the border of the Quebec side. So what's really great about that is that you have the best things that Ottawa has to offer and it's just a drive over across the bridge and you can enjoy what Gatineau has to offer as well. So some things that Gatineau has that Ottawa may not have, you have right direct access and it's very easy commute for you. So another really good thing about Ottawa is that there's really good universities here. I personally went to University of Ottawa and graduated uh, from my bachelor's degree there. But there's also Carleton University and Algonquin College, which have a ton of programs that are well-renowned and really good educational institutions for you. So you definitely won't be lacking in that regard. So in terms of some attractions that you can really enjoy in Ottawa, um, just to name a few, would be the vast majority of museums that we have here. For example, there's the Nature Museum, the Arts Museum, the War Museum, and you even have the Aviation Museum. And all these museums have such nice educational aspects to them, and they're just a step away from downtown, which is really great, and they're about roughly $20 to have access to them. So really, they're a really nice opportunity for you to enjoy learning a little bit about history or other aspects. A lot of locals also enjoy going to the Byward Market. So this is a market that's been around for a long time, and what you can essentially do there is shop around, look for, just have a little snack here and there. It's basically just an alleyway where you can walk and just enjoy what different restaurants and different shops have to offer. It attracts a lot of locals and also a lot of tourists because of the variety of shopping it does have. And it's also outdoors, so you can enjoy it in the summer, which is a really great aspect as well. So another great thing about Ottawa is that you have like I mentioned before, the Gatineau and Ottawa side, and all the nature that it can provide. So in terms of in town, Ottawa has a vast majority of small parks and green spaces that really breaks up the city quite nicely. So you're not gonna feel like it's just a concrete jungle. You really have areas with, like for example, in front of Parliament Hill, where you can enjoy these big open green spaces. You could just have a lunch, a picnic, or even there's really nice little parks as well that have like really nice flourage where you could, if you enjoy that kind of thing. Or there's even beaches on the coast of the water that you can really enjoy that are just steps away out of, of the city. So definitely a lot to enjoy there. So in the winter time, there's also some great things to do. Actually, us Canadians, we repurpose the winter and really make the best of it, even if it's really cold. So essentially when uh, the water freezes on the canal, um, it becomes this giant ice arena where people really can enjoy ice skating with their families. It's free if you don't have, if you have your own skates. And it's awesome because it's right next to the city and it attracts a ton of people and a ton of families that really enjoy ice skating in the winter. So another thing that I really like personally and many people like are outdoor trails and parks. So um, one of the greatest parks that you have around here is just across the bridge. It's called Gatineau Park. It's really accessible and there's camping, there's really nice trails and actually some really, really nice day trips that you can enjoy as well. Just going along these trails and enjoying the scenery and the nature that's all around. And another really good thing is that Ottawa is filled with beautiful architecture and history. You'll notice some of these beautiful churches, some of these old castle, castle structures uh, related to government buildings. They've been really well kept. And if you enjoy that type of thing and you love the scenery and just seeing a really nice architecture around, you definitely will have your fill here. 
So although there are many pros to living in the city, there are a couple of cons just like anywhere else. So one of the things is that you do have a lot of government workers. And what that means is that many of the people have exactly the same common times, which can cause a lot of traffic at specific times of the day. So it can congest mainly on the bridges or going into right into the city. So that does happen. It is less bad because of teleworking, but it is still very present because of the amount of government workers that are in this city. So in terms of relocating yourself to Ottawa, there's also the fact that there are not that many affordable rentals. Don't get me wrong, living in Ottawa is better than living in Toronto in that aspect, but since COVID and generally speaking, it isn't that cheap to live in, on the Ottawa side. So actually you'll, what you'll see is that many people choose to live just across the bridge on the Quebec side because they will definitely get more for their money in terms of the rentals that are available. So as with all main cities, when you're commuting to the city, whether it's for pleasure or for work, you're definitely gonna have the struggle of finding a parking. It, that is no exception here in Ottawa. It is hard to find, it is difficult to maneuver sometimes in the city and get used to driving there, but it's also costly when you do find a payable parking. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you're relocating to the city and the only language you speak is English, you could have a hard time potentially finding high ranking jobs in the government or other industries because it is highly sought after to be bilingual in the city. So predominantly English still, but French is still very present. So that could be a con or a pro, depending on if you are bilingual, but this is more geared to the person that's relocating here and just speaks English. So due to our location here in Ottawa, uh, it can be difficult to enjoy winter sometimes because it can be very cold and it also can be warmer than other areas and that causes there to be a lot of rain and that just ruins outdoor activities and a lot of what you can actually enjoy doing outside in the winter. But don't get me wrong, there's still lots to do in the winter, but just know this before moving here, it is no joke to deal with winter in Ottawa. So last but not least, a lot of younger folks really enjoy the nightlife. So in terms of what you would generally do to enjoy in yourself in the city and to be social, there are a lot of restaurants and a lot of things that you can really enjoy with your friends just to go out, but it isn't heavy on the nightlife, like per se in Toronto or Montreal. So just keep that in mind if that's really what you're looking for. So that's it for the pros and cons of living in Ottawa. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe my channel. It does really motivate me to continue and it lets YouTube know that I'm making good content. So I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.